And it's Ken Kreitzer for Sons of the American Legion Radio at Yankee Stadium. A terrific premiere tonight of the new movie, Megan Levy, about a U.S. Marine who serves in Iraq and her battle dog, Rex, uh, and the service they provide overseas, uh, recovery, and just terrific growth. Great storytelling by the team. Uh, I think this movie is going to get a lot of very favorable uh, reviews and attention. So. Yes. So it's exciting. Uh, some of the uh, actors, actresses are starting to arrive. And just what is what is the night like for you tonight? What is the night like for me tonight? Um, I have to pinch myself right now. That's how the night is for me. I'm super excited to be here. It's amazing. It's at Yankee Stadium. I mean, I I just it's I can't believe that this night is actually here. I'm super excited. I mean, I mean, right now at a time in the world where we just want truth and want something real. I think this story, Megan's story in itself is so authentic and real and it resonates. But then Gabriella was able to capture it and I think Kate did such an incredible job at making this story just feel alive. And I think we need it. We, we, we need stories that deal with humanity and love in this way. He was one of the best dogs we had at our kennel, so there was a lot of pressure on me because he was such a good working dog and being a new handler, that's like big shoes to fill. So. Um, we also certified and then were deployed like four months later, so it was like thrown into real life experience very quickly, which, you know, it's not an easy thing to do, but we, we, did, we did a good job. Hey, uh, tell us a little bit about what uh, the, the story of the movie. Well, she was, um, she listed in the Marines after 911, and she became a dog handler. She got accepted to the dog handling program, graduated what they call top dog, best handler of the whole class. Yep. And in her second tour of Iraq with her dog Rex, they were injured by an IED. And so they, re they recovered, thank God. And when her four years were over, she wanted to bring Rex home with her, but they denied her because she, they could still use him. Because they do invest a lot of money in the animals. Right. But then she came to find out a year or two later they wanted to put him to sleep because they couldn't use him anymore. And she, that's when she was so upset and had to find a way to get him. And we got him. And he, she had him for a year, and he died in her arms. And that's all she wanted was for him to end up with her. And he dog handlers. How long did you serve in the Marine Corps? Uh, four years. I joined in uh, December 2003, and I got out in December 2007. Well, what did you learn from your time in the Marine Corps? Uh, obviously, you deployed to Iraq, and uh, you worked uh, with uh, your, your battle dog. What, what was some of the experiences that you learned from in the Marine Corps going overseas? Um, I mean, I loved the Marine Corps. I was big in sports growing up, and I think a lot of those qualities as a team translates to the military. Um, you work for the person next to you. Like, that's who you're worried about. Um, and discipline, adapting to things. Um, I just, though I love the Marine Corps. It was probably the best decision I ever made in my life. Okay, uh, how was it for you to play a U.S. Marine? What did you have to learn to play the role of a, of a U.S. Marine? I had to learn literally everything because I knew nothing about it. Um, it's quite intimidating. Um, but uh, I had lots of really great teachers around me. Um, you know, I had to train specifically with the, with the, the dog, which was really fun. Um, but yeah, we trained for, for a few weeks to, to get ready. Very good. And what will someone learn by watching this movie about Marines serving overseas and the service of, of uh, dogs uh, supporting them? Well, I didn't know a lot about um, the canine unit, and I think you definitely learn a lot about that in this movie, and you learn what these incredible animals do for our country, and that they, they too, need to be supported when they come home, and um, they, too, go through PTSD and things like that. Um, so it's just a nice reminder to be grateful and support the vets in every way that you can. What's your reaction been from the military community about making a movie about, about a Marine in Iraq? So far, I think it's been really great. I mean, we've, the responses that we've gotten have been very positive, and that is obviously the most important thing to us. So, um, yeah, it's been, it's been quite special. Best wishes from all of us at the America League on the premiere of your movie. We look forward to seeing it. Thank you so much. Thank you. I think overall, it's a, it's a good story, and I hope people enjoy it. What were the most difficult scenes to watch? Um, I mean, of course, the, the war scene was hard. The scene where I have to leave the kennels and leave them behind was hard. Um, the scene where, you know, I'm 
reunited with him of, is is a happy sad, but um, yeah, there was some hard stuff in there to watch. And but I but there's also some funny happy moments, and I just I think it's a good story, and I just hope that people enjoy it. Yeah, uh, we've done a lot of work with service dogs for veterans. Uh, so to tell us a little bit, what was it like? Uh, what what's what part of the story is the most important to you? Well, yeah, you know, like the whole scene, like uh, where obviously the battle like then shows her toughness and resiliency like and she wouldn't she got hit by a bomb and yet wouldn't leave her her marines behind because uh, she knew that they needed her service with Rex to sniff out more bombs and then of course towards the end when she was getting desperate she, in despair when they were denying her access to Rex then she took it upon herself and encouraged her to go and seek I kind of told her you're going to have to get some politicians on your side and that's exactly what she did she went to head of the VA who contacted Senator Schumer he put her on TV pleading her case and the rest was history uh, what will uh, someone learn by watching this movie um, I think they'll probably learn a little bit about the military working dog program if they have never really heard of it before and I just you know hope they see how close that we become with our dogs as military working dog handlers. And how is it, uh, tell us about the character that you played. Uh, what did you have to learn to play the role? Well, uh, I had to learn kind of this relationship with the dog that I'd never met and build this bond uh, with Chico, who's an actual fire rescue dog. And so we spent, I spent a couple weeks with him before we started filming just to kind of build this relationship with him and obviously some of the military training as well so I can authentically do my best to be a Marine. So important uh, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing the movie tonight. Thank you so much. How has life been for you once you left the Marine Corps? What kind of thing, how is the transition for you? Um, it was really hard at first. I had a lot of issues physically and mentally and I think getting Rex back uh, helped me work out some of those issues. Um, I felt like I left him behind, which was hard to deal with. And, um, you know, I just tried to do the best I can in a civilian atmosphere and, you know, readjust to living back home just like everybody else. You're at the uh, Yankee Stadium for the premiere of this movie. This is a lot different than uh, other places where I've seen a canine dog in action. I was a military police, so we did utilize canine dogs a lot. Uh, just to see a movie about canine dogs, <sighs> it's a different experience by itself, but to watch it in Yankee Stadium is uh, mind-blowing. And I'm thankful for an organization like Wonder Warrior Project to invite me and arrange this beautiful event. Uh, I'm just thankful. So thanks to everybody that made this movie actually um, it, it doesn't happen often that canine dogs movies are made and canines are just as big part of the US military just as you know some of the um, other activities we're part of yeah how is it to have your story made into a movie it's kind of unique and uh, I'm looking forward to, to seeing it tonight uh, what was it like when they said we're gonna make a movie about your story um, I like I said, this movie's been five years in the in the in like in the works. So I really until like probably tonight, I was like, is this really gonna happen? So it's 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 pretty great. I'm sure you got a lot of fans in the Marine Corps League and all of us at the American Legion. Best wishes on the uh, premiere tonight. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. So from Yankee Stadium, this is Ken Kratzer for Sons of the American Legion Radio.